rise and shine, duplicants. It's time for you to get back to work. Uh, the first things first is, uh, wait, let me check my schedule. Schedule is looking... Wait, why is the... Why does that look all weird? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Looking fine. Anyways, we have a new community member. This is Laughing Zed. Laughing Zed is a longtime viewer. He's been in other, he's been a community member in other games and whatnot. Apparently everyone is being wimps about it being cold or they're just being a bunch of complainers. But that's all, it's all good. Now anyways, the first thing I'm going to do is let's begin, let's speed things up. And we are going to do a few things differently in here. I'm going to add a bunch of mesh tiles here. And the reason for that is because uh, I had an idea. Oh, okay, if you don't know, I am playing Oxygen Not Included on the Twitch channel. The Twitch channel is actually up to like 57 cycles. It's a different progression. So like, yes, there there are different ideas that I had, or perhaps I should say there are different things I remembered. Let me go ahead and turn this off. And what I'm going to be doing is... I forgot we have this big mess over here. That's fine though, not that big of a deal. Uh, I want a bridge. And then I'm gonna use this. Actually, I got a better idea. I'm gonna cancel all of that. I'm just gonna turn you off. And I'm gonna do it in the other way around. I'm going to have this. I'm gonna have this clear some space. I'm gonna go like this. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. You can't do that. We're gonna go like th this. Wait, or are we? Am I just, okay, no, no, I got it. We're gonna go, oh, it's so ugly. There we go. Oh God, it's so ugly. There we go. We're gonna go like this. I, I just need to clear some space. Like that. And then like that. And then we'll just connect all these together. And then I will run another bridge like that. Like that. Okay. And now what I can do is this. And I will run it all the way up to here. Let me see what the temperatures are. Uh, that, those are the two locations I want it to be. We're going to go right here. And right here. Bam, bam. And then I can turn this, I, I could probably just turn it, it probably doesn't matter, let me just turn this back on. Anyways, let me explain why we are going to be doing this. So this room here is about, oh, 80 degrees, this one's even hotter, about 83 degrees. Well, the water we're pumping is about 76, and 76 is a lot colder than 80 and 83. It's about 4 to 7 degrees colder in that range. So there's no reason that I can't just start dripping the water onto it. There's no reason at all, in fact. Uh, in fact, I'm going to probably stop that from happening over here. It doesn't matter, actually. It, it, it's just going to put the water everywhere. That's all that's going to happen. The water is going to be everywhere. As you can see, the ice has melted over here, which has made things rather chilly. Temperatures are down to 40 degrees over here, which is exactly what I wanted. That's good. That's... That is the temperature that I was hoping it would be. I believe we have... Don't we have a temp shift plate? I forgot if I unlocked that. Did I unlock the temp shift plate? Where would that... Would that be under utilities, I bet? Ah! Can I... I can make a temp shift plate out of ice, can't I? Yes, I, I can make it out of polluted ice. Excellent. Let's go ahead and just build ourselves a temp shift... A temp shift plate... Oh, I want to build, where, where should I build them? Right here, and probably right here. And also, let's go ahead and just switch you into one of these. So, building the temp shift plates out of, in this case, polluted ice, means that... Let me make sure I'm doing, yeah. Me, it's just another way to transport the ice around. It's ve very convenient, I completely forgot about it. And now I, I and, and I, I realize that I could have been doing that this, this entire time when I was on my Twitch stream. 
So what we're going to be doing, let's, I'm just going to let them complete this. Our, oh, look at this. So here are going to be, these are the temp shift plates, and they are made out of polluted ice. Now, why polluted ice? Because when they melt, they're just going to go in here. And that's perfectly good. So this temp shift plate is made out of, where is it? It is made out of um, polluted ice. It is currently 8, minus 8 degrees Fahrenheit. We can just go right here. You can see they are very cold. Very cold, in fact, but eventually they will, they are going to give heat off, or they're, they're going to absorb the heat, which will make this area colder, and eventually they'll just melt into polluted water. That'll be very cold polluted water, I should add. There we go. Okay, so now we can see here, water that is, oh, about 76 degrees is going to be snaking its way up into here. Into these areas that are, like I said, about 80 degrees, oh, about, and once they, and that means they're going to help bring the temperature down from 80 degrees. You can see it already here. Temperature's already rapidly decreasing from 80 to 78. Uh, now it's down to 78, and it'll just continue doing that. And the reason we have this here is because the water will now fall down through there and go into our water reservoir. And this is yet another just kind of cheap, cheap, not a cheap way as in cheap, not cheap as in like cheesy, but cheap as in a inexpensive way to begin pushing the temperature down. Like over here, we can see the temperatures are down to 77, 77. Over here, temperatures are about 81. And eventually, it, it will just over time, just because we were going to do this either way. You see, we were going to be moving the water into this tank one way or the other. So it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and start mopping this. Our goal right now is to construct the base. That's, that's, no, don't mop over here then. Go ahead and I want you to uncork this area. Let's go ahead and just allow this water to run off into there. And just keep mopping. Basically, we need to hollow this, the hollow the starting area. What, do I, what, I, what I consider the quote unquote starting area is all the areas that are inside the layers of advanced materials, such as this abyssal light forms like a barrier. Another example would be this stuff here like granite sedimentary rock, igneous rock, all of those are examples of uh, just these things that serve as barriers. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this back on as well. Let's see over here. So as you can see, we are still dumping the water in here, dumping it at a pretty consistent rate at that. And over time, it's just going to cool things down. Over here, oh, looks like this is already melted. How nice. Look at this. This has, we just moved a ton of polluted water in there, and so it's already going to get a lot colder, which is exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and build another one. Temp shift plate out of polluted ice. We'll build one right here. That's going to help cool the area down. You can see just how crazy it cooled down these compost bins are now 61 degrees. Once again, another very easy way to reduce the temperatures. I could probably do the same thing over here. Now, I do have to be a little cautious about how I... Um, let me go ahead and mop these, this up. This thing is drowned. And I'm going to copy one over here as well. Why not? So these are just easy ways to cool down the base. Like cooling, like I said, can be a bit intimidating, but with cooling, you these are just simple ways to keep the base cold. Looking quite nice. Look at this. So that that was about 83 degrees. Now it's down to about 81. Over here we can get mopping. So what are, what are we going to do with this? You might be wondering what we're planning to do with this area. And the answer to that is... Let me make sure we haven't... Not putting any poo, poo water in anywhere. I don't think we are. Uh, let's see what we get. Um, Doctoring and tidying, researching and fun. Nah, we'll take the barbecue. The more we hollow this area out, like I said, I do have a plan with the base. Uh, we're going to be building more facilities and stuff like that. There's, there's plenty of stuff that we can do. Let me go ahead and cut this out and that out just so that we can mop this up. Get this water out of here. Okay, looking pretty good overall. This can continue pumping for a while. Uh, that's going to be, actually, that's going to be pumping for a very long time. Water is actually very cold in that area. That's perfectly fine. 
Over here, this is down to minus five degrees, so it is getting hotter. Over here, the temp shift plate, ah, there, it just melted. And it's just gonna release all of this cold water that is going to be cooling this down. Same with over here, this temp shift plate is about to melt. I think it melts, like, I don't know why it melts at the temperature it does, there it is. Just now mel melted, you see, very, very profound effect on the temperature, I think you'll agree. Very intense change in the temperature. It's quite, it's quite nice. It's very, very good. This water here is also falling quite a bit, down to 51 degrees, so also very nice in that regard. Yes, we are off-gassing, you know, some water, which is like, you know, it's kind of annoying because we are creating polluted oxygen, but I kind of don't, I'll be honest, I really don't care that much about polluted oxygen. We, we'll get rid of it eventually. I mean, I can go ahead and mop it up because, you know, we've done the main thing I wanted to do, which was cool these down. We can mop these up. It's not a big deal. Yeah, go ahead and clean up this water. Because, like, you know, it's easier to fix the gas than it is to fix the, um... The, the germs and the, and the liquid are easier to fix than the temperature. The temperature takes a lot more work. Over here, you can see it's still extremely cold in this area. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Over here... Temperatures are still fluctuating, but they're trending downwards, which is the main thing that I'm happy to see. So remember, this area was like 83, 86 degrees. Now it's down to like 79, 80. It's normalizing the temperature, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Okay, let's go ahead and just build all of this area all the way down to here. And I'm going to go ahead and build up to here. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. Like that part, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I, I mean, okay, I do. I, I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm not clueless, but I do want to hollow these areas out. I do have a plan for all of this. And um, let's see over here. Like we're just trying to make all of these areas like I guess like I guess you would call it habitable. Hollowing all of these areas out. That is the plan, all the way up to here. Because we're going to use these all for, this is going to become part of our base. Uh, you, so to answer your question, what are we going to do? Uh, what we need are a variety of uh, specific systems. We are going to need uh, ranching. That's, that's one of my goals. I would love to have some ranching. Also, I would like to begin cultivating more advanced kinds of um, plants. But we need space. That's one of the main issues. We need space. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. We are just expanding because the base is pretty stable at the moment. Let me go ahead and just cancel all those because we can uproot these just by digging up the buildings. I don't want to stress out our electricity either, so like I could begin researching things, but at the same time, I kind of want them to focus on just building and hollowing the base out. Like this area here, this is not necessarily the dimensions of what I would want to build in, but what it is is uh, it's just a way to clear out all the wreckage, all the rubble, all the way up, like once again, to the point where we reach the... Well, how do you say that? The end of the starting area. That's the way I like to describe it. Everything looking pretty good. All of our systems seem to be working. We're going to get a lot of algae here. So that we're going to be contributing more. Because we need algae. The algae deoxidizer needs algae in order to function. So we're going to be drilling out plenty of algae to keep the algae deoxidizer going. I don't care if oxygen floods into here, to be completely honest. And that's because this is going to become part of the base either way. And if it's going to become part of the base, then, well, it, it doesn't matter. Come on, minions. It is time to work. Let me go and mop that up. So we should have a little more poo gas in here, but, like, we're doing pretty good on keeping, on, keeping it under control. I think there's a little bit of gas here and there, but pfft, I don't really care. 
Ranching. We need to get into ranching as well. Unfortunately, I don't really like the shape of the base. Like, it's kind of inconvenient to have to go around like this, but that's just the kind of, that's just the hand we were dealt. There's really not a lot we can do in that regard. Let's check our skills. Uh, we are ready to go into ranching pretty soon. Not just yet, though. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, this is all fine. Yeah, I don't want to actually... Oh, yeah, we can go into more researching. That's perfectly fine. Field research. Um, I am interested... I'm I am starting to get interested in decor. That is something that I am interested in. And, uh, to use decor, we're gonna need a storage room. I tend to use, uh, like, I'll have to find, I'll have to find an area that is my designated storage room. We could use this area as a storage room temporarily. Like, nothing says I can't do that. Although, at the same time, it would probably be a good idea if... If I'd use this right here and ma I need a pump. That's right, we need a, um, that's something we need. Let me go ahead and just build a pitcher pump here. Make that a higher priority. The pitcher pump, I forgot we need that. The pitcher pump does count as a platform, so the fact that it's right here just means that we can easily just access, we can access it very easily. Okay, since they're starting to do pretty good on the drilling, I'm gonna go ahead and start researching. Like, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to interrupt the drilling, but the drilling is coming along pretty nicely. Um, I believe the thing I want to use next is either... Let's see here. I think the next thing we're going to go for, let's research critter ranching, because that's something... The order isn't that important. Like, I do want to do critter ranching. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. If we go into this mode right here, we can see that... The uh, carbon dioxide has largely been eliminated. In fact, one of the only areas that has a pocket of this carbon dioxide is right over here. And I can counteract that by simply putting an air vent right there. Putting an air vent right there will, because like, and the reason right there, because if we go to here, we can see this is the layer of liquid. The gas and the liquid can't be in the same place. So we put the vent one tile above the liquid, so it'll have a chance to get out. Uh, that said, I will probably build one of these here. In fact, let's do it that way first. That will inconvenience our, our travel a little bit, but what, whatever. It's not a big deal. Some of you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta let something go. Right here, and then we can plug this in to here. And it's looking pretty good, I gotta say. It's looking pretty good. This area is finally starting to warm up, and the only reason it's warming up is because the surrounding areas are becoming colder. Like, remember this area started at like 83-ish degrees? It's 79, and then closer to here, you know, I'm seeing 78 degrees, and then over here, 78 degrees. So you can see that it's all starting to, the, the overall temperature is falling, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Water in here is getting a little hotter, it's still a little bit lower, like the water around here is about, say, yeah, 75 degree water. Let's see what temperature the water. The water going up is about 75 degrees, so it's still worthwhile. The reason I don't put temp shift plates here is because these, these plants here, if we click them and then we click this little book, uh, it'll tell us the low end on them is 50 degrees, so you know, I don't want them to get too cold. 50 degrees is really handy, the fact that they will, tol they will tolerate a lower temperature is pretty nice. But at the same time... Oh, you're supposed to be an 8. At the same time, it's still like, you know, it's still an issue. You know, you don't want, you, you don't want them to be too cold. Otherwise, they'll wilt and they won't they won't grow anymore. So over here, we've got our research going. I was supposed to look at that so you could see like double the researching power. Let me go ahead and get another research going. Where is research? 
I also want to research, where is it? Smart friends, what is it called? Artificial friends, there we go. Let me make sure priorities for research are where they should be. Yes. So we should be able to see both of our characters begin researching. Yes, yeah, so we can see them both researching at the same time now, and that's the benefit of having two researchers. One of them can work on the supercomputer, and one of them can work on the, uh, the regular computer. And we have another duplicate coming in. Dirt, probably. Don't need doctoring. Supplying and decorating? Nah, farming? No, nope, dirt it is. <laughs> that's when you know you're worth less than dirt. Okay, we're starting to run out of space here, which is a little bit, a little bit concerning. I mean, I can just flip, flip this button off. It's not that big of a deal, but it means we're going to have to um, take things down a step. In fact, let's just turn it off now. Okay, so we made it into here. Let's go ahead and mop all this up. All this water can go. And what we're gonna do is um, probably go and let's do one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to here. And Shazam -a -lamb. I'm gonna leave this uranium here because I don't, I don't know what this uranium is good for. What is lead? Lead. I, I imagine that has something to do with. Oh yeah, I can. So I can see the recipes right here. Like what? 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 Depleted uranium, manual radbolt generator, depleted all kinds of weird. Okay, you make some weird stuff. Weird stuff that I don't know what it does. So let me go ahead and remove one of these blocks so they can get up and down a little easier. Okay, so we now can do. We can now create a a food area. A food a food area. That's so that's what's on my mind. Like yeah, we're gonna like yeah, we're gonna get like food from like ranching people. No, we we are gonna be able to create a, a ranch. Then I will move this and I will de I will deepen the water reservoir by like one room. If you guys would please get to work. Oh look at this. They're just sciencing away, aren't they? I guess they ran out of water. Just just get that science going. That's what I like to see. Dirt. Yes. Do the science. Do it now. Okay, we got the science done. So that means we can now do sweepy. Uh, to get sweepy going, let me see how much refined metal we've got. Uh, refine... We've got 50 kilograms, so let's do one of these. Should be enough. Sweepy is useful because it collects debris on the ground, and it collects the debris slower and less efficiently, but automatically, like we don't have to do it ourselves. That's the most important part. We don't have to do it ourselves. You know what? Instead of mopping down here, Let's mop up there first, because, like, it's dumping the water down onto us. Seems like that would be a little bit smarter. Only by a little bit, though. Oh, I love seeing the temperature coming down. Oh, it's beautiful. You don't understand. If you, if you don't play Oxygen Not Included, you don't understand how beautiful it is to see the temperatures coming down. Get all of this mopped up, thank you. I love it. You know what, let's just get all this done. I don't care. Get ready, get, open this up. Let's get the water in here. Looking pretty good still. Oh yeah, so as you remember, we poked a hole in there. So now this area here, it is uh, the carbon dioxide is starting to leak out into this area here where the carbon skimmer is. So that's very nice. Come on, higher priority. Let's get this done. Let's get this done, boys. Also, right here. Of course, it's break time. Why wouldn't it be? 
I, I'm gonna get really frustrated if these little pieces here that like, it doesn't matter, it's not important, but it's gonna drive me nuts because I know it's there. So they, they've got to drill it out. I, I know it's there, so therefore they have to drill it out. And of course, everyone needs to go back to sleep. So this room is finally starting to warm up. Like we're we're approaching 70 degrees here. This is still at 50. There's probably ice there still. Yeah, there's still like a bunch of ice there. Perfectly fine though. Come on, let's get this base going. Okay, we should be able to build a sweepy. Let me go ahead and do that. Isn't it under stations? Or is it under I forget where it is. Refinement? Base? Where is Sweepy located? Power, food, plumbing. It's not going to be under ventilation. Refinement. Uh, maybe utilities? There we go. Sweepy's dock. All right, let's put Sweepy somewhere. Um, we need a Sweepy to work on each floor, but uh, let me. I want to put it somewhere. Let's put it here for now. How much electricity does Sweepy use? Probably uses a decent bit, to be honest. Okay, here's Sweepy's dock. Now we can see uh, Sweepy uses 2 4. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, so Sweepy is now going to become active. Oh, we need a little more refined metal, apparently. Let me get one more. So as you can see, it's only picking up 10 kilograms, which is honestly not very much. But um, let me tell you what, it doesn't matter because eventually it will pick all of it up. All of it. And for now, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put one bin right here. This will be like a sweep all bin that they can put all the stuff into. We're just trying to consolidate all this crap. Very nice though, right? It's just gonna, it's basically a Roomba. If you're wondering what it is, it's, it's a Roomba. That's what it is. And like, I don't know, you, I think you can even put things on its head. And like, if you put things on its head, it will like carry them around. So you, you can, it's a, it's, it's just a silly thing. And like I said, it's picking up 10 kilograms at a time. That is not a lot. But the point is that it just does it day in and day out, and one day it will fill up with everything, and then we can unfill it. So let me go ahead and start doing that. We'll do um, sweep only for now. Clothing, yeah, sure. Nah, don't put the clothing in. Consumable ore, sure. Um, coal or critter eggs? Nah, don't put critter eggs in. Cultivatable soil, sure. Dirt and clay, how about filtration, medium, sand, sure. Industrial, agree, database, nah. Liquifiables, nah. Metal ore, sure. Miscellaneous, abyssalite, sure. Organic, algae, yep. Uh, Eggshells, yep. Polluted dirt, no. Rot, no. Um, raw materials, sure. Refined metal, yeah. And seeds, sure. So now at night, it, it undergoes maintenance. So it, I guess it, in a sense, goes to sleep as well. And then they unfill it. And then what they do is they just put it right next to the sweepy dock. Where the sweepy dock, since I have it right here, they're just gonna put it in there and it's gonna clean it up. Now, unfortunately, I will eventually need to remove the stuff from there as well. But the point is that we, we're in the process of consolidating all of it. And the other point is that when it comes to decor, the fact that there is clutter scattered around everywhere, that does play a role. Are we are we done yet? Let's can we keep can we keep mopping, please? Let's keep mopping. That's what I want to see. I want to see people keep mopping. And like I said, it will take a long time for it. It's this is not exactly a this is not a fast process, but the key is that it's an automatic process. Like we don't have to do it ourselves. And it'll get through it eventually, and then what I can do is just deconstruct the sweepy and just construct it somewhere else, and I can consolidate all of those resources, maybe even turn this, this could even become the storage layer as well, that, that's certainly a possibility. No one said that this could not be the storage layer. I mean, because I could put them all over here. Nothing stops me from doing it. 
I believe we released some, yeah, we got some hydrogen here. Not, doesn't matter though. Hydrogen raises to the top. We, we can skim off the hydrogen eventually, but not something I really care about. I mean, it's super ugly. If, if you're wondering, is it ugly looking? Yes, it's very ugly looking, but I kind of don't care. Um, is, how hot is it over here? Quite hot. I would I would like to stop the heat from infiltrating. So what I'm gonna do is go like this. Yeah, I'll go like that. And that's because this is abyssal light, which doesn't transfer heat. That's abyssal light, doesn't transfer heat. So we'll just do that and um, whatever. These resources, we'll do something with those resources later. This will just prevent the heat from entering into the base or slowly filtering into the base. Oh, another printable. Gold amalgam, probably gonna go with that. Cooking and digging, no. Research supply cooking, no. Rocketry, no. I'll take the gold amalgam. Gold, oh, more gold is always nice. Anyways, I believe that will do it for today's episode. Next episode, hopefully we will be able to begin actually adding to the base. That would be nice. And uh, yeah, but until next time, boys. I'd like the video feels entertaining subscribe for future oxygen not included content and of course remember that you don't have to be good to get good <laughs>